Yeah. What do you mean? We're having something that I don't think that I yes, need. There's, something. There's blood. No, maybe there's blood. more than blood here. Because yes, I don't want to be a sister. Sometimes because of the sister. Sister, I'm going to go to the sister. 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 I'm going to go I was so nervous to come up in here because it's been such a long time and I didn't know what my first video should be about. Um, okay, my laptop is kind of going on. I hope that's not, I hope the mic won't pick that up. But I miss you guys so much. It's been such a long time. To be honest, I've been like trying to come back, you know, like I was trying to get a mic, I was trying to get a ring light. I got a ring light, but yeah something happened it's not quite working anymore i was gonna get a new phone i'm gonna get a new phone soon you know my phone always has issues but that's not what we're talking about today as you guys have seen from the title today i just need some food okay that's okay okay as you guys see from the title today we're talking about something quite interesting like it's if you're not zambian so there's something called divorce club and it's a youtube show by kazadi films kazadi films is like a i feel like it's a new production something something media sorry let me just get my laptop working because i need some something here so yeah honestly i have never wanted to watch a zambian production this much like i, I i've never been this excited to wait a whole week just to watch an episode of a show that's zambian sorry so it's great i'm not gonna lie it's amazing it's such a good show i like whoever's behind it whoever had the idea you're smart you're very very smart you know it was like the way we, we were so excited about blue therapy like it gives me so much blue therapy vibes if you're a youtube fan you know that blue therapy was amazing so divorce club also is like that so please do check it out just search divorce club zambia or something it will come up because the films they have so many episodes but today we're going to be not really reacting because i've already watched it we're just going to be like i'll be like yeah post it's like a what do they call that it's like an aftermath my personal aftermath of what i thought about the episode because it was crazy anyway so let me just get into the intro right now i don't even know what my intro looks like anymore but i, I guess whatever but yeah let's get into the intro Sins on my heart heavy, praying that the Lord forgive me I haven't been to church lately, but I know the Lord forgive me Sis got praying hands, I'm praying for my heart again Please Lord give me strength, take the blue, your plans greater Hey, it's that trip flow from the south side The south side, but the north side where we side So guys, ah, Divorce Club For talking like, yo, Divorce Club is dramatic so they claim that it's unscripted and honestly parts of it do look very real like certain emotions you know you can see that okay real. but some things things also give very much a nigerian movie they give very much too many plot twists like there are just so many plot twists like uh, it gets a bit overwhelming and it doesn't look like real life but like if people there are people out there that are actually living these lives yo you guys are living movies you guys are living um dramatic lives to be honest because okay so basically yesterday's episode was where this guy was dating this woman not dating married they've been married for eight years and this woman wasn't giving her husband a child after eight years and just because she was basically saying she wasn't ready to have a child yet the man isn't working and the woman is like a businesswoman. she's into retail business and so she travels a lot to buy stuff and resell and she was saying she's trying to give her husband money or like jobs like one time she tried to find him a job to be a driver and he said he's too educated he's too educated to do that information of driving <laughs> So he said no, basically. He said he can't work as a driver because he thinks he's, quali he's, mo uh, he's more qualified than that. So he's been a stay-at-home husband for since forever. And she's the one paying the bills. And as she said, it, she's the man of the house. So the thing was, um, 
this man brought his wife to the divorce club because he wanted to confront her about why she wasn't giving him children because he's finding pills family planning pills in their house so it's like she's purposely preventing the child birth situation and then he came with his little sister and the little sister was hey hi Jose, i'm going to beat this girl up like yeah it was crazy guys it was very dramatic it moves forward you know they fight there's drama there's all that i'll try to put in a few clips if i can but i don't know if i'll be able to but if i can i'll try to put in a few clips because like copyright and all that i don't want to face all that so tell me why they suddenly have a maid in the picture because the woman is saying the pills aren't mine maybe they're for the maid and so the man says yeah the maid found them so the woman is like what was the maid doing in our bedroom because you are the one who's supposed to be cleaning the bedroom because i told you to clean our bedroom so the man says how do you expect me to clean the bedroom i'm the man of the house i can't be cleaning and i'm like it's your bed sir your wife is barely ever in the house if you sleep in that bed why can't you just clean it you know what let me even talk about this to be honest like chores house chores are just a basic necessity that any person should have it shouldn't be because you're your wife that woman works hard fam she goes to travel by herself comes to be so all this has to deal with clients deal with all that and then she should come back home and sweep a bedroom that you slept in alone for the past week are you dumb like are you dumb sir i don't really quite get it you know it's really just confusing and so he said he couldn't sweep the bed so he told the maid to come and sweep the bed so while the maid was sweeping she found the family planning pills and i don't know if she showed him and he got angry and i don't know what about that turned him on so much that he forced himself on the maid <laughs> Basically, he raped the girl because he told her, have sex with me or I'm gonna send you back to the village where you came from. And she got scared because, you know, she's like, okay. I'm gonna do it here, my boss. So they did it. That man raped her. Let's not even sugarcoat it. He raped the girl. Tell me why this woman is now crying after she finds out this information because she said that this girl is actually not a maid. This girl is my child. What? <laughs> this girl is my child. And so she says, when she was 14 she was sexually abused by her dad and her dad got her pregnant and her entire family including her mother kept it a secret and she gave birth and so that girl has grown up as like her little sister that's what the girl also knew that that woman was like some sort of older sibling to her and that wasn't her mom so now there's all these emotions and this woman is crying and it was just crazy it was the craziest thing ever so now let's unpack some of it you know what i mean like so now i'm thinking like oh my this is such a crazy thing because like both of them right now are wrong like if you've been married to someone for eight years why wouldn't you tell them that you have a child and i get it rape is such a sensitive such sensitive topic it's not something you just go about telling everyone if you're a victim of it especially but like that's your husband of eight years and you couldn't open up why are you married to him I thought marriage is about marrying your friend, giving very much, marrying your companion and best friend. Like, why are you not opening up to him that you were once raped and you have a child somewhere? And why are you bringing this out as your maid? Your child is calling you madam. Guy, now, nah, I've waited the minute. Cut the cameras. I was, I was just, it was just, it was too much, guys. It was really too much. And this man, honestly, he doesn't have a job. He's just staying home doing nothing and he doesn't want to do anything not even cleaning his own bedroom and making his own bed that he sleeps on like i understand the wife to some extent because now i'm like how you go who's going to take care of the child you know if she was going to have a child it means her businesses have to be on pause and if her businesses are on pause and she can't travel anymore because she has to take care of the child who's going to put food on the table who's gonna come and put the food on the table because the man can't do anything okay all he wants is a child because apparently to him being man enough is about having a child 
honestly it was a lot like divorce club is giving very much blue therapy and i love it i'm not gonna like i'm so excited to even know that this is a production it's gassing me up like i'm just like yo you know and then in all this there's also like the, the man came with the little sister and his little sister is so rude why is she insulting her sister-in-law and saying give us a child give us a child give, but oh, 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 what are you blocking what are you hey, hey, from? What, are, what are you preventing it's yeah. because yeah. i'm not ready to have a child but when are you ready and so that's another thing it's like when you're married to someone are you married together or are you married to families and yes even though it's two families joining together at the end of the day there's some issues that just shouldn't involve everyone else in the family you know what i mean i mean there was also so many issues like the why that woman is very like physically abusive to the man and the man doesn't really beat her back i think loki because he knows that hey if i beat her she's gonna chase me where am i gonna go the streets <laughs> It's our house. You are going with who was, who was, who, who was there You're every day? She's looking at it. Taking care of everything. We've got everything we've got together. I can't tell you who's together together. Gentlemanness for for a fool. Last last week, not in a little, last week, for many apps. Every time she's been fighting, we, we can't say anything, you can't resolve anything. She's violent. Last time I went to the police, she she inspector Chama was even laughing at me, thinking I'm being funny. But every, you, you know, if I raise my hand, if, I don't want to raise my hand. That's not funny. But yeah, um, it's a lot. You guys should watch it. Like, you guys really need to see it. I was just so confused because now I'm like, what's going on? Why are there so many plot twists? You know, but if you think it's an, I mean, I enjoy it regardless. I don't care if it's scripted. I'm still going to watch it. It's just that my, I'm only wondering, like, are these people going to be arrested? Because basically that man raped that girl. He raped her multiple times. And then now he's feeling good. <laughs> I'm waking because Wanga, Sanka, Lapu Panyumba, she hasn't given me sex. I'm not an angel. Ah, Mutu. She forced herself on me, mother. It's, it's, it's just been once, only once. I don't understand you. Why, why, why are you supposed to bl blame my wife who hasn't been giving me sex? Why would you blame a man who's been staying home? I've been faithful, she's been going out to her trips, and she's. I don't know what she does. I don't even know what she's even been taking. I haven't been sleeping with her, and she's been taking. Oh, also, the girl is pregnant, and it seems like she has STIs. Because she's saying um, her private parts have been hurting ever since he had sex with her. So it's not like she has STIs and she's pregnant. Imagine. This man needs to be arrested. Please arrest this rapist. If this is real, arrest him. Why, why isn't he being arrested? Ah, yo, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to let my, my thoughts out on that. And it's it's nice. I really can't wait for the next episode. I'm so excited for it. I'm just, I love, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, thank you guys for watching it. See you guys next time. Don't forget to watch. Like, watch it. Like, let's support Zambian Productions. Like, let's support our thing. I know we're going to be big one day because the views that this show is getting, I think it, one episode even got like over 100k. Like, I'm proud. Like, I'm proud. I'm so proud to say this is Zambian Productions because it's amazing. Like, yeah. For the most part like thank you guys for coming through and watching my video yeah guys bye <laughs>